course, but it does work. I also use this method. I have some 0.9 by 0.3. It worked well with that as well. So it will work with some of your square wire. So if you have any questions about this or would like more detail, send me a message. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. What's up, Drew, Brian, Chessie? How's the stream looking? How's, I mean, I know it always, it's going to sound the way it sounds, but how's my sound to my video, basically, is what I need to know. What's up, what's up? Chris Payne, the Vapor Cat. How am I looking? Fast Master Cube. There's going to be a massive delay just because that's how Zoom is. Stream okay? So far, so good. Good. All right. I erased some stuff in my computer. I restarted the computer and went on Zoom, which Zoom's cool, but Zoom's telling me that I can't stream, <laughs> but I'm streaming. That's what's weird. So, Zoom's cool because I could screen share, right? I could screen share. Thank you for saving you from watching shit on YouTube. Cool. All right, cool. Looking good, looking good. All right, so I did get some vape mail. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and the single fathers, too. Um, being a single mother or father is fucking hard. Really fucking hard. Um, luckily, I don't have to deal with that. But I've been in situations where I was raising a daughter by myself for even a week or two. Fucking sucks. I could only imagine. Um, it's actually telling me the speed. It's telling me my bit rate, and it's saying that it's lower than it should be. But uh, I'm all right. I'm, I'm good right now. What's 717? What is 717, Vapor Cat? Oh, is that what time it is? 717 now? Oh, shit. That's like a... That's a huge delay. Damn. Those beans. What's up, Brian Feeney? Mighty Zootyberg. Zootyberg? Zootyberg? Zootyberg. Who the fuck smokes fruit is here? Doom Tooth's here. Bass Master Q, Chris Payne. I know I'm saying some of your names again. Dave, what's up? Savvy's here. Vaping Trucker, what's up? What's up? What is up, everybody? Delay 18. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, like I was saying in the other video, so I built this last night. It's actually two videos long because I was having computer problems. So I did build this last night on the YouTubes. Um, see, now I can focus in and see exactly what I'm showing you. So I built this pitchfork action here in the Ocula. Looking mighty good. I like it. I like how it came out. I did single coil because I thought that would help me get a cleaner, cleaner coil. Mixed ribbon, mixed wires. It should color up nicely. I'm going to get some pictures of it today. I have another coil that I have to put in the Ocula as well. Um, let me see if I can find it. 
Where the hell is it? Oh, shit. What did I do? All right, give me a second. I got to find it. I showed it the other night, but... It's not in here. Tommy Vapors, Mr. Burgundy. Yeah, Mr. Burgundy, I'm loving that juice, man. I act like all I'm vaping. Besides my, like, a door, you know? I always vape my door. Oh, here it is. There he is. Oh, I know what we could do. I know what we could do. I know what we could do. We could do that stainless steel coil build. I have a couple ideas. I have a couple ideas. And that doesn't take me too long to do, so I got a couple ideas for that. So this is the other coil. I think I'm going to install this into the Ocula, too, because that's what I wrapped it for. I got a little peekaboo right there, but I'll show you the insides in a second because I do have it there. You can kind of see them. I almost wish I skip fuse this, but I remember I wanted to full fuse because I wanted to see what would happen. So those are ribbon frames, twist it. And this is what's inside of it. So the frames are four pieces of ribbon that I twist it. And then inside is two corrugated, one square wire in the middle and three more ribbon on the outside. So it's a very, very big coil. I mean, this three wrap, let's put it next to the other one. So we got a four wrap, a four wrap pitchfork <laughs> next to this three wrap chumpy. I mean, that's a big fucking coil. They're both wrapped around a 3.5 millimeter. So, he's a big boy. Big, big boy. But he should fit in the Ocula nice. Shit, maybe I should just install both of these. How many, how many ribbons would be in this? So there's four, which would be eight for each of the frames, and then three and three. So six plus eight would be 14. And then the two corrugated, 16, 16 ribbons and a square wire. 16 ribbons and a square wire. What is this? What is this pitchfork? It's eight plus four, it's 12, plus six is 18. What did I say that one was? This is 18? This is 18. That's 16, right? What did I say this was? Three. So I'm going to show you what I'm counting here. Let's do from the inside out, right? The inside out. So I did eight ply on the inside. And then there's two pieces of ribbon on that first one from the inside out. Then there's three pieces of ribbon and then 28. So eight plus four plus six. So 18 ribbons, 18 ribbons in this and 228 gauge, 18. I actually have another build that's 18 ribbon too. I'll show you them in a second. Then this is the frames are each four pieces of ribbon. So that's eight. And then there's three on each side. Actually, let's do it from the inside out. We're not going to count the square wire. Let's do it from the inside out. So the corrugated, there's two corrugated. Then there's three ribbons on each side. So we got two plus six is eight. And then plus the frames, there's four frames on each side. So that would be eight plus eight is 16. 16 ply so 16 ply 18 ply 
I wish they were closer, man. I would I would absolutely just throw the one on the other side, just for picture reasons. Just for picture reasons, I would do that. Maybe I'll do it just because I fucking can. This way I could take a picture of both easily, you know? I'm fucking doing it, dude. Why, why do I want to take a picture of this one, color it all up, and then uninstall it, reinstall another one, color it all up? I could color them at the same time, clean them at the same time, take pictures at the same time. I'm just doing it, dude. I'm just fucking doing it. I'm going to install both of them in the same deck. I'm doing it. I don't fucking care. You want to see another 18 ply? These are the coils I use in my videos, which I actually recorded three videos yesterday. Um, I did this guy, the Ardent. I did this guy, the Ocula. And I did... this guy, the Vaporesso Lux and Scar Tank. This video will be up first because Vaporesso is asking me where the fuck is their video. So they're not mean about it though, but um where's the coils I was just gonna show you? Here, okay. So these are the coils I use for my videos for my RDA videos. So I got these are the eight. These are also 18 ply, I believe. But I don't think there's any round wire in these. Yeah, these are 18 ply, I believe. Six plus four is 10 plus eight. Yep, 18 ply. These like super staggerton fuckers. All right, what's up, Lino, Odin, Crazy the Mighty, or K Kazi the Mighty? All right. What else? What else do I got here? Nothing. All right. So now I got my coffee. Vape mail. So I need to give a huge shout out and thank you. You know, yesterday I got some vape mail from Mr. Burgundy, some toast it, which is a juice that he made. It's very, very good. That's actually what I'm vaping in my goon OG with the Rona next to. I got all the holes open, which is something I didn't usually do, but I'm learning to like more air. I don't know where that came from. I think I just don't like my builds quite as hot as I used to. I like them to be cooled down a bit. So I guess, you know, you could change the way you like to vape. I don't know why all of a sudden I just like more air on my hot coils, but you get great flavor if the coils are big enough to support that air. Really good. Got some stainless steel fralians in there. I installed these yesterday. They're staying clean. OG Goon. All three holes are open.
Yeah, I guess so I could take longer hits. You put more air. So I need to give a big shout out to, I don't think he's here right now, to uh, Ron. Ohm is where the art is. Ohm is where the art is. Ron sent me a clone um, skill RDA. I don't have a skill RDA. Um, I'm really thinking now that I have this to buy a skill RDA and do a video clone versus real. I've been wanting to get a skill RDA. I think that's why he sent it to me. This has not been used. Um, the drip tip it comes with is, to say the least, it's a stupid drip tip. So he put another drip tip on, which he didn't really have to do. I got plenty of drip tips, but I do appreciate it. Oh, shit. That drip tip's blue. That's actually, I don't have a drip tip like this. That's actually pretty fucking cool. I was like looking at it. I was like, why does it look like it's lighting up blue? Looks like it has a light in it, right? That's actually a very cool drip tip. This would look really cool on probably... I don't even know what the pulse. But yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, a clone skill RDA. This is a Twisted Messes creation. All right, and Vapors MD. Vapors MD and Twisted Messes. So I actually went over, I didn't know who Vapors MD was. So I actually went over and looked, and he speaks a different language. Um, so that's probably why I didn't know him. Um, I don't know what language he speaks. I kind of forget. But uh, yeah, he's a different nationality. So. This is a skill RDA clone, which I am super psyched about. Thank you very much, Mr. Ohm is where the art is. And that's what the skill RDA looks like. So it's kind of like, um, or I should say, um, I should say this. The KTX is kind of like this. Ramo to you is the creator of the KTX. And he took a couple things he liked from RDAs and mixed them together. He basically took the skill RDA deck with the dead rabbit airflow and mixed them together. All right. So you get this, which is a very, very cool post configuration. I actually quite like it. Um, but I do, I think, want to get a video going of this versus the real. And I may have to buy the real gold one. Or the brass one, whatever one Kent sells, I'm not sure. So... I don't really, um, I don't support clones too much, but I mean, people are in situations where, you know, it, it's better to just get a clone than not get anything at all. I think sometimes they're going to make them. And if the people really have a problem with people making clones, then copyright your shit like, uh, or patent your shit, which costs a lot of money, but that's the bottom line. Um, if you patent it, you can't get cloned. It can, but you could sue them. Somebody should just come out and patent something one time and just hit them fucking clone companies hard. That's what should happen. It would be very surprising. But pretty cool, pretty cool. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Kim Dixon, happy Mother's Day. Celine. Are you a are you a mother? Happy Mother's Day anyway. I'm sure you're a mother of of something. I'm sure you're a mother of something. Anybody that's a mother, happy Mother's Day. Single father, happy Mother's Day. So when um we did that that kind of extension build in the Twisted Messes a little bit ago where we had we had um, a mesh coil in a capture build. So it was like this. 
we did. This build here. But instead of the middle, it was a mesh coil. And it didn't go so well. It wasn't heating up. And I, I think there's a couple reasons. And a couple people texted me and said they tried. And then somebody texted me and reminded me something very important um, that I didn't think of. So mesh, stainless steel mesh used to be used for wick. People used to use it for wick all the time. You've been called a motherfucker. Well, happy motherfuckers, they ain't a motherfucker. Um, so, stainless steel mesh used to be used as wick. That, that was its first purpose, was people would use it as wick. But when you would use it as wick, you had to heat it first. You had to heat it first. You had to take a torch and torch it up before you used it as wick. All right. So that's one thing that I'm going to try to do. Um, that may not work. It may or may not, because if I do that, then that may mean that, um, that may mean that it definitely won't glow. I'm not sure. There's a couple other things I was thinking that may be good to do this. Um, one being, don't use fuse claptons for the outside pieces. Um, another thing is, is I see where the hot spots are coming from. So maybe, maybe um, get rid of them contact areas where I was getting hot spots, which is probably going to be a little tricky. It's going to be a little tricky most likely to do that. First and foremost, I need to find I need to find the spool of stainless steel mesh, which I'm not very positive where I put it, but it shouldn't be too hard to find at all. I don't think so, at least. I'm going to need this. Where did I put that? that oh, there it is, right in front of my face. <coughs> all right. So instead of doing the fuse Clapton's, Canthal 24, just like what Paper Cat said. Canthal 24, I want the ohms to be much higher. I also want to do more wraps, all right? I don't want to just do two wraps or four wraps. I should do probably at least six wraps, or five wraps at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out. Now, the coil is probably going to be harder to make with the stainless steel because I have an idea of a way I want to do it. So what did I do? This is not going to vape because it doesn't have a battery or coils in it. It looks good, though, right? So what I'm going to do is, what did I do? Three, five bit. Yeah, so I got a 3-5 bit right here, I believe, or right here. I got the 3-5 bit right here. Yes, 3-5 bit. Now, I want to get out my drill and the 24-gauge canthal. And I do have uh, 
Where's the Twisted Messes deck I was using? Here it is. So I'm going to use the same deck. Same deck I was using. Twisted Messes 24. Not the Pro. The original Twisted Messes 24. It's a two-post, four-hole design. See how Zoom's working better? It's working better on my end. It's weird. I think it's I think it's a couple problems. I think YouTube's one of the problems I'm having though. Maybe I'll just do Zoom for a while until they figure it out. It's just harder to set up Zoom. It takes a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take out some 24 gauge canthal. Bend in my 24 gauge canthal, get it into my drill. Needle noses, pull and twist. Straight wire. Sides down here, but I actually have way more than I need. All right, now I'm going to find the middle. We'll talk about Game of Thrones in a bit, too. I'm actually a little scared about Game of Thrones. I'm getting a little bit of a fear. So now I got two pieces of 24 gauge cane ball. I'm going to take one of them. I'm going to get my 3.5 millimeter bit and I'm going to wrap. I don't know how many wraps yet. Let me just do it and see. Three, four, Six, I'm going to do a six wrap on each side. So I'm going to get it like this. Six wrap. I'm going to make more of an L than a Y. Like that. And I'm going to cut the back of the long one. Now remember, I said in the last video that I wrapped the second one wrong. So I'm going to wrap this one the correct way. So I usually wrap overhand. I'm right-handed and I wrap overhand with my right hand. If I were to wrap left-handed, I would also do overhand with my left hand, right? So instead, I'm going to keep it with my right hand and wrap under. I'm going to wrap it towards me and wrap it under to get a reverse wrapping, which is difficult for me. But especially with just 24 gauge, but it's possible. Three, four, five, six. All right. Double check them wraps. Six wrap. Six wrap. Cut it in the back. So 
I basically want this. I want them both to come from either the underneath or both come from the top. That's why I wrapped it separately, or opposite the second one. And I got two. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to I don't know why I can never get this. I love these little twisted messes things. I think I'm going to do a video on that. Twisted Messes Pro and Eclipse Cat. We need to unscrew this guy, unscrew this guy. This guy can stay. This guy can stay. Let me get this wrapped in here like that. Skadoosh. What's up, Stephanie? Once again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms.
Okay, so now one of my ideas is to make sure that the mesh sticks out the ends. That was one of my ideas, is to make sure that the mesh seams aren't on the inside of the coil, that they're actually on the outside of the coil. Little fucking ant. Fucking ants are crazy around here this time of year. Okay. Now, if I want to make sure my mesh sticks out of the ends, I'm not going to be able to just wrap it like this because the, the mesh isn't big enough to stick out the ends. So mesh used to come in sheets and not in rolls. It used to come in mesh sheets. So getting that long bit would have been way easier. But this isn't long enough unless I were to move them coils together. So I'm going to try to wrap it the other way, I suppose. I'm going to try to take a three millimeter bit and wrap it long ways. Yeah. Wrap it like this. And that is not going to work. That's not going to work. It doesn't even connect there. I could test it, but there's like an opening in the coil. Damn. Yeah, I don't think I have any sheets. I don't think I ever bought stainless steel mesh sheets. I always kind of wanted to, but I never did. But it is forming, which I'm pretty surprised. I thought this was going to be harder to form. It actually forms and keeps shape. But there's like a break in the circle which I was hoping it would overlap a bit, you know? And I was hoping that it would stick out the ends, which for picture reasons, this would work, you know? I, I would be able to use it, but I actually want this to function. I could get a good picture by wrapping it the other way. So I'm not going to be able to do this. Plus, it's not really touching very good in there. It's very loose, very loosey-goosey. So there's something else I could do, I suppose. And that would be I could actually keep this like this and wrap around it. 
or I could just do the wrap the way I was and kind of angle it, I suppose, or just try the way I thought the first time and burn it first. So let me take, let me just play with it a bit and see if I can get it. So I could kind of wrap it on a little bit of an angle so that it makes it longer. overlap it but I don't know if I like that so see I could do something like this but I don't think I want to do that so I'm not what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to try the burning thing Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for that to cool down because it's it's kind of sprung out. And I'm going to need my um my one wrapping tool. Bring it here like that. So now, through the one, just got to get it into the other. It's in both, but I feel like, I feel like the one coil can get tightened a bit. Come on. Can't fucking win with this. So I feel like I should tighten. If 
I can. I'm gonna be careful because there's no there's nothing attaching the other side of this coil. So I'm just gonna give it a little pull and hopefully that tightens up the coil a bit. And I suppose something else I could do is kind of pull it off of the post and that should tighten everything up as well. Right, right. All right. You know, see, it's almost coming out of each end, too. So I just kind of move them closer together. And it's damn near out of both ends. There you go. See, it's at the end there. It's not at the end there, but it's close. So if this doesn't succeed, there's only a couple other things I could think of, and it would probably pertain to having sheets of stainless steel mesh or smaller, smaller coils on the outside would also do it, I suppose. All right, let's see what happens. Happy Mother's Day, Jerry, Sue, everybody. is up what's good in the hood So I'm actually going to put my three millimeter bit in here first. This is just nine watts, but I can already see the ends again are going to want to heat. And that's why I'm going to put the watts up a bit, 25. 
You could see it's doing the same thing. It wants to heat them coils. It just wants to serve as something to change the current over. It's a 0.64 it's saying. Favorite chat on YouTube? What's up, Josh Main? Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, just doing the same thing, basically. It's just wants to fire on the inside. Or actually, on the outside. Addy Tooney, what's up? Happy Mother's Day, Addy. Yeah, this ain't gonna, it's not gonna do anything different than the last ones were. It doesn't wanna work. Pull it tighter and see. So that's the only other thing I think that maybe I might be doing wrong is that the coils on the outside aren't tight enough to the stainless steel mesh. It just wants to jump the current over. That's all it wants to do. Which still, this could make a cool build. I mean, now we know that we could put two coils on either side and get the current to jump over, right? Like an extension build. But it just wants to light them coils. Now, we could use this to vape. I mean, it would just be like two six wrap coils and that would be used as wick, right? The stainless steel would be in there just for wicking purposes, if you could get all the hot spots out. Yeah, so this isn't working. Try. I'm not sure if I ever seen anybody do one that's functioning. I've seen pictures of it colored, I believe, but never a video of it actually functioning. And see, this is what I wanted to do to both sides, have it stick through, but I'm not sure if that's even going to help. Yeah, I don't even think that's going to help. I think it's going to find a hot spot somewhere anyway. Yeah, you could heat it with the ceramic thing in it, but it doesn't really do much. I was doing this to the other one and it just wasn't ceramics going to take most of the heat just getting softer. Just gonna put it somewhere else. All right, well, that didn't work. We'll figure this out, man. We will figure this out. I would also like to one day um, try just the stainless steel wick, like do a build 
use stainless steel for wicking and just see how that works out as well. There's a lot of things you could do with stainless steel mesh that I just never really have done. Um, there's people that put it in builds and stuff. Um, things like that. Fold it in half. Throw it in a build. I would flatten it out first. Shit, you could even corrugate this fucker. Which I've seen, I think space coils do something like this. And I feel like I almost have to do something with this now. I don't know what. Pretty cool. Put it in a in some kind of a stove top or something. Hmm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, now what's next? So, has anybody seen um, anybody seen staircase or stairway? Staircase, stairway. What is it called? Staircase, right? Anybody ever see that shit? I didn't finish it. But I think I know what happens at the end. <clears throat> Staircase is a docu film on Netflix that um is about some guy that uh, got charged for a murder that he may or may not have committed. So what it was about was um an older staircase yeah an older gentleman and his wife um we're just drinking wine one night and he comes in and she was at the bottom of the steps all bloody and he called the ambulance said she's still breathing please get here he hung up called back said she stopped breathing please hurry and um the amount of blood was just ridiculous and she had like four wounds to the head, like good wounds to the head, but there was no murder weapon. So they charged him for murder. They think that he actually killed her and put him at the bottom of the staircase. So I'm not going to give away anything other than what's in the preview you would watch. Um, he seems like a good dude. The whole family likes him. The, the kids are like, he would never, ever kill his wife. Never, ever. They just had a really good relationship. Never would do it. Um, so they start digging and he's kind of bisexual 
So they think that that might have been a motive. And then they start digging and they find out that um, a previous lover of his died at the bottom of a staircase. And that's all I'm going to tell you. But it's pretty good. What's really cool about it is, is um, they record it like his whole, his whole court stuff, like all, like when he's talking to the lawyer, like you're watching him go through it. So, Thank you, Sim. So yeah, it's interesting, and I almost believe the guy didn't do it. I mean, you you see just how he acts. It just seems like he didn't murder her, but it, it's just weird some of the stuff that happens. So other than that, Game of Thrones is on the night. I'm super excited for the episode, but I just keep hearing negative stuff, man. Um. I'm enjoying the season. Do I think it should have went differently? Yeah. But we haven't seen it all. But the thing is, is like, if you go and look up, like even what the actors and actresses are saying about it, it seems like they are not going to enjoy the ending. And that it's so, the ending is so different than what you would think that it's going to be, um, it's going to cause a lot of people to not like it. So, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. If that dragon shows up with armor, I don't know, man. So, there's a big thing going around. Why is Euron look so scared at the dragon flying towards him in the preview? He wasn't that scared before. Did the dragon surprise him? Does the dragon have armor on? Or does the dragon have a bunch of little babies with him? They'd really have to sell that to me. If the if the dragon has armor, it would have to be like um, Gendry was so happy to be the king that Daenerys that he made armor for the dragon. I guess that'll work. Or if there's babies, it would have to be like brand new that there was babies somewhere else and he warged into them to fly them over. Either way, somebody better die tonight. There's a Sonic trailer, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. Your childhood is ruined. Yeah, it's like nobody could come up with different ideas. It's crazy. So here's what I think about the dragons. Because people are saying, you know, maybe there's a bigger dragon. There's a fourth dragon and he's bigger. And that's John's dragon, you know. And maybe there's more dragons or maybe he has armor. See, I think that's not all needed because here's, here's how I look at it. I think Game of Thrones is all about the character development. Um. We see Jon Snow go through all this stuff. You know, he goes through all these wars. He becomes um, a couple different kinds of leaders, a king of the north. He becomes the, the main guy at Night's Watch. You know, he, he goes through this whole journey where he's captured, where he dies. And that leads him up to the end. Same thing with Sansa. She's a different person because of everything that she's been through with all the, the different guys in her life. And then the same thing with Arya. She went through each season. She's learning something new. And it all led her up to what she did. And I think that's the same with the dragon. That dragon has fought so many times. He's already been shot by one of them arrows. He's dodged them arrows. How many times has the Night King thrown something at Drogon and he missed them so i think that drogon is just going to be a badass dragon he's not going to be like the other two that are going to get killed that easily 
It's going to take more. He's going to be able to dodge them. He knows how to play. He knows how to burn shit down. So he's developing just like all the other characters are. Daenerys has developed. She's went through all this stuff and people keep underestimating her. And she's probably going to, you know, if not coming out on top, she's going to destroy a lot of people. Yeah, I think Jamie's going to kill Daenerys too. In fact, if Jamie doesn't kill Daenerys or if Arya doesn't kill Daenerys, especially with Jamie's face on. If one of them two don't kill Daenerys in some way, I think that's stupid. I do. I think that that should definitely happen. If that doesn't happen, maybe Tyrion. Maybe Tyrion. I'll take anybody else. Sansa, maybe. But I think Jamie should kill her. I think he should probably. Some people say that he's going to grab her and jump off of jump out of the window that their son committed suicide from. Um, something else I was going to say. I think what might be cool is they're saying uh, Xerxes pregnant or whatever. I know John and Xerxes are going to meet because there was photos leaked of them two talking in a castle. What if at the end Daenerys gets on the throne but she doesn't kill Xerxes and somehow John finds Xerxes somewhere having a baby. Xerxes dies giving birth to the baby. And John has to raise that baby without anybody knowing who it is. Like Xerxes, like, don't tell Daenerys it's my kid because she'll kill her. She'll kill the kid. And John has to move up north with Ghost and uh, Tormund. Do you think somebody is going to have to raise a baby at the end in secrecy? Does Kai Grounds go fund me? What is the Kai Ground go fund me thing about? Because I, I don't know anything about it. Apathetic Geek, what's up? Because it seems like everything's going in a circle, right? Everything is happening. Who knows, though? Oh, shit, really? Damn, that fucking sucks. Where's the kind ground link? I got it right here. What Addy put up, the GoFundMe is kind ground? Okay, hold on. And I guess the hospital bills are just getting too much, huh? I'm going to put it in the description. Man, that really sucks, man. The link to Kind Ground GoFundMe is in the description. And what is this, Tooney? Vapor Technology Org. Follow the calls to action. And what is this? Easily find the locals recipes here. Okay. Let's put them in there. 
copy. I'm going to put everything Addy just put there inside the thing. Follow the calls to action. These are all going to be in the description. Check them out. There they go. All in the description. Thank you, Addy. Thank you for raising awareness to them things. That kind ground thing really fucking sucks. How much is um how much is the GoFundMe asking for? They have two young teenagers. Twenty K. Does it have a, an end date on there? Oh, actually, I'm in Zoom. One second. I can look it up right now. So. Maybe we'll go over to Instagram after this. How do I search? Search. Is there, um, is he? Grace, no, that's not him. Why is this not taking me where I need to go? There you go, I should just click the link. Okay, 4,000 of 81, 70 people, two days, create it. When is it over? <sighs> Cr 
create it, the nine. It doesn't tell me when, maybe there is no over date. That's a shame. Oh shit, let me show you. I'm gonna do it. So this is where you're gonna wanna go. Right here. And that's where the link in the description will take you. They raised 4,800 out of 20,000 started two days ago. So that's actually a good start, but um, you could read all about it right here. And uh, every little bit helps, man. Every little, little bit helps. We'll have to do something. That's kind of why I wanted to see when the date was for it, because we could um, definitely make a difference if I were to do some kind of raffle or something, or not even a raffle. Well, yeah, I guess a raffle. Um, I'll set something up. Mixathon forum. Yeah, nobody should have to lose their house because they got sick. We'll have to set something up because um, daytime Frank, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll get with daytime Frank and see what he's doing. Um, I mean, I could always do, I could always do a, a, a raffle forever donates. Um, I could do that. I'll set something up by Tuesday or something like that. Or maybe, maybe today. I mean, I'm going to set up my Patreon. I wouldn't be um, against giving money from the Patreon to something like that. That's something I was thinking about is with some of the Patreon money, we could use it for stuff like that. Because technically, my Patreon is also going to be paying for other people's Patreon. So, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, if we could all get together, I mean, Fresh's channel is the best one to do it on because it gets a lot more exposure than mine or Frank's. But it's good to do it on all the channels too. Yeah. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do today. I got to set up the Patreon and I got to edit video and upload. I'm going to have an upload today. So um, just keep an eye out. Other than that, I'm just going to take it easy today. I may um, try to edit two videos and have one go up tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm looking forward to my Game of Thrones though. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with this damn wire here, because it looks really cool. Probably be cool. 
in like a mesh RDA with some other type of wire. That probably look cool. It's Mother's Day, so I know punching in her in her face, yeah. I gotta call my mom, actually. I wasn't sure if she was gonna be awake. Make sure you call your, your mom, wish her happy it's Mother's Day. Make sure you don't forget to um, the mother of your kids. Wish them happy Mother's Day. Everybody, don't forget, it's Mother's Day. Yeah, DIY or die is a good channel to do it on. Cool, cool, cool. So um, on Tuesday, we have we have to do our coil class, correct? Our coil class number nine. So the question is, what coils are we going to be up to? And actually, so that I'm prepared, I should try to figure that out sooner rather than later. I think I know. Sometimes I know nothing. And I don't know where my spiral copy book is. There it is. So, you know, the one, the one video we went and we wrote down all the different types of builds. We got them all here. Types of builds. That's not including like creative, creativity builds. All right. So, did that and we did that. So we did that, that. So what will be coming up soon is cord braids. All right, we did the the regular fused cat track juggernaut boom 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 ribbons. Yeah, what it looks like is we're going to be up to staggering. Um. Yeah, we'll be up to staggering. So I think that's what this week's video is going to be, is your first staggering. Um, stagger Fuse Clapton, half stag. And um, I think the week after that will be the braids. So... Um, I'm going to get out of here. Everybody have a nice Mother's Day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, I guess go Team Daenerys. Go go Team Jon Snow. Uh, I don't know. Somebody better fucking die. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Somebody better fucking die. Um... That's all I got to say about that. Go watch the staircase. 
and I'll see is I gotta call my mom. Peace out. I'm done. I have a video up today too. I'm gonna edit that now. And the Patreon will be up. That's that's actually first. Peace.